Okay, we'll start today's class. So we were doing chapter six, town readers and class. Chapter six, towns, readers and crafts. Okay, this is from history. So we were basically discussing about good morning everyone and we were basically discussing about the uh, temple town or pilgrimage centers right uh, temple towns and pilgrimage centers This was the topic. Now we already discussed about Thanjavur. If you remember, we discussed about Thanjavur that Thanjavur was a good town, a capital town, and it was also having a temple, Raja Rajeshwaram Temple, and because of that temple, that place developed the lot. Okay, so we were basically discussing that how these temples in some of the towns, how these temples develop that town, right? So we discussed that.
So I was explaining that uh, in Thanjavur, what happened? Uh, it was already a port town and capital town and temple town also. The temple was also there. Now there was the Sanyan weaver. This Sanyan is actually the name of a weaver community. Weaver means the people who weave the clothes. Jo bunai karte hain kapro ki, those are the weavers. So Sanyan is actually a name. Basically it is a name. Okay. So Sanyan weaver is a uh, weaver's community. What they used to do, they actually used to weave the clothes. Where? In Thanjab. We are basically now talking about Thanjab. Okay. So they used to weave the clothes in the Thanjab. Now water, uh, uh, like when they were weaving the clothes, what, are, what were the uses? So these clothes were used to make the flags of the temple. The flags of the temple. So when there is a very famous temple no, in Thanjabur. So if you see on the top of the uh, temple, you will find that the flags are uh, kept there on, at the top of the temple. So those flags of the temple were weaved by Sanya weavers. Okay. Also, these Sanya weavers, they were, uh, they were at also weaving the fine cottons for kings. Okay. Fine cottons for kings. As I told, Thanjavur was a court city, a capital city. So king was living there. When king was living there, he will need the cloth also. Right? Like they need army also. The kings need army also for the protection. So army barrack was also uh, kept in the Thanjavur. The same way when king is there, other things also needed. So clothes are also needed. So Sanya people was the community who actually used to weave clothes for the kings. Okay. So fine water was weaved by the Sanya weavers for kings. Okay. Also they were preparing clothes for common people. Okay. So coarse cotton clothes were prepared for the common people. Okay. So if you see the king is there, so king will wear some uh, good kind of clothes, no? Good variety, good uh, 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 fine cotton clothes they were using to wear. Right? Because he is king, he will wear good clothes and fine cotton is, uh, if you see, it is uh, expensive, high cost. Okay? So, uh, all the common people, they were not able to wear the fine clothes. So, they were wearing the coarse cotton. Okay? And Salya people used to weave the coarse cotton also for the common people. So, like this, if you see, this is basically an example. Okay? So, in this example, what will you find? That because of that temple, because temple is there, because king is living in the Thanjab, this Salyan river community is getting work, right? Employment, they are getting work. They are buying and selling. Suppose if there is no temple, then for what they will uh, prepare the flags? If king will not live there, then how they will prepare, for whom they will prepare the fine cottons, right? So, uh, if uh, Sanya, see, what happens if king is buying the cloth from Sanyan weaver, the flag of the temple is being weaved by the Sanyan weaver, they are becoming famous, no? Everyone will uh, want to buy the uh, clothes from them. So, like this, if you see, this community get good economic condition, okay? They were getting engaged in the good economic activities. Why? Because of uh, Thanjabur was a port city, port town, and it was a temple town, right? So, till here, everyone understood any question till now? This is basically how a port town or a temple town can <coughs> produce the economic activity for the people. 
Okay, this, basically I am explaining this thing. Okay. Now if you see, okay. at Swami Malayi, at Swami Malayi, the they, they are. They are sthapatis or they are sculptures. So they are, they, uh, the sthapatis or the sculptures in Swami Malayi, they used to make bronze idols and ornamental beads. Metal lamps, etc. Okay, so like Khanda only you have the example of Swami Malai and at Swami Malai if you see sthapatis of the sculptures with their sculptures. Okay, so uh, who prepare the uh, uh, what you say? Jo murti banate murti ka they or okay sculptures with them. So these sculptures or sthapatis at Swami Malini, they used to make the bronze idols, Tambeki Muti, bronze idols, and ornamental bales, also the metal lamps. So these things were very famous, and the people who used to visit to these temples, they used to go and they used to buy these things also. Like Agra Kapeta, the same way. The people used to go here and they used to buy the special things made by the craftsmen. Okay, so here you can see how craftsmen were engaged in the economic activity. Okay. Ahana has asked some question. Or oh, ornamental mean ornamental is actually uh, ornamental is जो सजाने की चीज होती है ornamental is सजावटी. The bells were there which were used to uh, like uh, for सजाने के लिए जिसको use किया जाता था. Those ornamental bells. Okay. Understood Ahana? I explained. Uh, have you understood this? So like this, if you see, the basic thing is the craftsmen were there. Okay, craftsmen were there in the uh, cities, in the towns. Okay, like you, if you see the sthapatis or the sculptures, they were also craftsmen. The same way the Sanyan people, they are also craftsmen, right? Making some kind of craft things. So the craftsmen were actually there. And they used to make the, the things which is needed, okay? And those things, the people who used to go there, they used to buy them, okay? Now, not only common people like me and you are going there and buying the things, but also the traders. Traders means the people who used to do trade, jo if I will buy, I will buy uh, one ornamental veil, right? Or if I buy fine cotton, I will buy some, right? But the traders they used to buy a huge amount, and they used to buy the things on huge amount, and they used to take those things to other cities, other places, and they used to sell. Okay, so like this, if you see, yes, the common people are engaged in the activity as well as the traders also used to go there and they used to buy the things on large amount they used to sell in other cities or countries. So like this, the craftsman who is sitting here is selling to the common people also and they also are selling, selling the things to the traders and these traders used to take the things 
to other countries or other cities and we used to sell. Okay. So, if you see, this is basically done by because this is a capital town, this is a temple town. People are going there for uh, uh, looking for temple to visit temple but also they are doing economic activities there. Okay. So, any question till now? Is there any question anyone till now? You can ask if you have any question. Now see, what happens in the temple also, uh, present day also if you see, what happens in temples like if you see the temple of uh, that, uh, um, what do you say, Tirupati. Tirupati temple, do you know? Have you heard about Tirupati temple? So what people do basically in other temples also, people go and they donate. They donate money, right, gold, whatever they have. So they donate. So like this what happens in the temple town also, in the temples also, when there were temples, the people used to come to the temple, they used to visit the temple as well as they used to donate some money. Okay. So, like this, if you see, so, uh, if you see, uh, outside the temple, the economic activities are happening. We discussed about the Salyan River, we discussed about the uh, sculptures of the Swami Himalayan. Okay. So, outside the temple, the economic activities are happening. And when economic activities, when, when in a town economic activities happen, more of the economic activities happen or economic activities are high, that place develops, it, that place grows, okay? That we will understand how it grows, okay? But here you understand how money is coming in the town. So, money is coming in the town by the economic activities, people are coming and visiting the temple as well as they are doing the economic activities. So like that the money is coming but inside the temple also money is coming. How? So the people who are there who are coming and visiting the temple they are donating the money. Okay? So they are donating the money. Kings, kings used to grant the lands uh, to the temple, kings used to donate the money and donate, kings also used to donate, okay, they also used to grant land or donate money or whatever valuable items they have, they used to donate to the money, uh, sorry, donate to the temple to show their, what, devotion to their deity, right, to show their devotion to their deity, they used to donate money and donate valuable items. So like this, if you see, money is going in the temple, coming in the temple. Yes. What is being done by that money? What people are doing to that money? They are living for the God. Hmm? The money is being lived for the God. Left for the God. No, it is not left for the God. What people are doing? The temple authorities or trust, if you will go to some uh, uh, temple, please find out the name should be mentioned of the trust. Some trust, some authority is handling the temple. Okay? It is not that you go and see the uh, Pandiji is sitting that Pandiji or priest is handling the temple. That priest is not handling the temple. There is some authority or some uh, trust which is handling the temple. And their name you can see somewhere in the temple. It, it will be mentioned. So if you go, you look to these things. Now start observing the things, finding the things near to you. Okay? So this time when you will visit any temple, please find the things which you learn here in the chapter. Find all those things and connect. Okay. So temple authorities, what they used to do, they used to use this veil. 
whatever whale, whatever money was coming in the temple, they were using this whale into the to finance trade and banking. Okay, to finance trade and banking. So they were doing trade. The people. priest is there the the trust who is there who is handling the temple they were actually doing trade with that money vyapa okay they were putting that money into some kind of trade also they were doing banking banking means uh, what kind of banking if you say like giving people, uh, the money to the people for other activities right to lend money so that kind of banking was done when they they will have profit they will give interest that kind of thing they were doing okay so that money which was going into the temple if that money was used by the temple authorities to finance trade and banking so like this if you see not only outside the temple in fact inside the temple also the trading was being done okay and like this if you see now a large number of priests workers artisans traders they all settled near to the temple okay and like that they used to uh fulfill their needs and as well as the need of the pilgrimage pilgrimage what is the meaning of pilgrimage pil uh, pilgrims pilgrimage is the tirth sthan pilgrimage is the tirth sthan where you go and visit like you have the tirth sthan no can anyone give me any name of the pilgrimage center present the pilgrimage center can you even give me a name jahan log tirth karne jaate hain so pilgrimage is actually the place where you go and pilgrims are the people tirth yatri pilgrims are the people they are tirth yatri okay no one knows any name of the pilgrimage varanasi okay ankita has answered varanasi yes varanasi is a place where people go the pilgrims go and it is a pilgrimage center of present okay so basically if you see like this the temples because of the temples those places where uh, ahana has answered kedarnath kedarnath is also a pilgrimage center that is correct so like this what happened if you see because of the temple some of the towns were uh, uh, some of the towns were developed and they became prosperous okay and these uh, were uh, later known as temple towns so in this if you see the when we read about the um, invasion of mahmud of ghazni we read about the invasion of mahmud of ghazni he invaded somnath temple right the mahmud of ghazni was there and he invaded somnath temple and he destroyed so what what was the basically uh, we also discuss that temples that time the people what they used to do they used to attack on the temples so basically why they were attacking on the temples because temples were having a lot of money a lot of uh, wealth they were having okay so when they were going and they were attacking to the temples they were getting a lot of wealth loot they were actually looting they were invading that temple okay so that is that was so earlier they were doing invading the temples because the temples were very prosperous and they were having a lot of wealth okay so for example uh, we have some of the temple towns which actually grown from a town from a uh, because of the temple into a temple town so we have billa swami which is a currently known as Vidisha, which is in MP. Then we have Somnath Temple. Uh, temple we just discussed Somnath Temple, that is in Gujarat.
Gujarat. Then you have the Kanchipuram and Madurai, which is in Tamil Nadu. And then you have Tirupati, Andhra Pradesh. So these are some of the temple towns which actually developed because of a temple. Okay. And now how they developed, they, that you understood. Have you gone through the homework which I gave yesterday? Have you gone through the homework? Okay, so homework is actually to uh, write down the uh, experience, your experience to visit a temple and basically don't write, here. you have seen this, that, I don't want those kind of things. I want you to write the things, the small things which you observe, okay? And then you need to relate that to this, uh, the development of uh, place, how it develops the place. Now I am sharing my experience in two minutes, okay, not more than that. So I am uh, sharing my experience. I visited Varanasi and in Varanasi what I saw, I saw that this one. So what I saw in Varanasi, so near to the temple, okay, near to the temple place, the main temple place, a uh, lot of hotels has been, uh, I found a lot of hotels, okay, many hotels near to the, uh, you have ghats, do you know in Banaras you have ghats, right? Uh, Ganga river is there and basically people go and visit the ghat and on ghat what happens aarti is being done evening aarti which is very very famous the people go and they surely visit that aarti evening aarti and it is very beautifully done okay so now what i found that uh, near to the ghat the temple is little bit but near to the heart, if you see, lot of hotels are there. Many hotels as much as you can find. Okay. Many small, big hotels are there. Many uh, type of uh, shops are there. Big shops. Malls are also there. Okay. Malls are also there near to the ghat. So if you go to that area near to the ghat, that is very much developed. Do you know why it is developed? Because basically people go and visit that ghat. Okay. So people wants to live near to the ghat. When I I uh, um, I went there for four days. So four days I need to stay. So hotels are there, right? They are earning. The people are living three days. Days. So they are earning. Now, if you see these hotel people, the hotel uh, staff, they will provide you the uh, guide. Okay? They will provide you the guide. A person will be there. Wherever you go, they, they will take you. Wherever you will say that I want to go there, and they will take you there. Okay? They will take money for that, but they will take you everywhere, wherever you want to go. So, hotel people will provide you the guide also. Now, when people go and visit that ghat, a lot of boats are there. Okay? Lot of boats are there. Big boats, small boats, every type of boats you will find. So, when these people know that people will come to the ghat, they will visit when if anyone is going to the riverside, obviously they will go for boating and through boating only they will go and see that aarti okay so like this if you see the boats are also there so the people who are selling these boats they are also earning you see how people are earning over there okay so by boats they are earning they are the hotels are near to the guards so the people who are going there and staying for three four days these people are earning then if you will stay, you will eat also. So uh, for uh, restaurants are also there. A lot of restaurants 
are there high uh, you can find it in a high price in a low price every every kind of thing you can find so that is also available okay food now different type of food, but then you have walls also so when people go and they see the things they attract towards that and they buy those things right now if you go to heart you will go for boating so these people will also earn money so like this if you see if you go to any place you will find many people are there who are doing economic activities so basically i want to know that so when you, when you are doing your hopa you write like that okay observe the things recall the things and like write the answer like that okay thank you for today everyone